What's up guys, Dan the Pokemon here, and I'm pretty excited because, um, today I'm going to be opening up this. Don't recognize it? Well, you shouldn't, because it's not from the Pokemon company. It's just a random eBay lot. So I'm going to open this up, and, uh, we're going to see what we get. I already know quite a bit of what I'm going to get. But uh, I just thought it'd be cool to open it on camera for you guys just because of, like, I don't know. I, I love it when I watch other PokeTubers open stuff like this because it's just so entertaining to see, like, the random stuff that comes in these lots that you get from eBay. So, yeah, let's crack this crap open. Oh, there's so much random stuff in here. I'm excited. And there's bound to be, like, some surprises. Like, when you get a lot like this, there's no way you can, like, you know, usually look at everything in the sense. So there's going to be some random stuff in here I probably don't know about. So, let's see what we got. Alright, so first of all, what do we have here? Um, it's like a Team Aqua theme deck box with, I think, the contents of the deck in it? I don't know what's going on. Okay, so we got a, a rule book. What is this? Oh, that's so cool. Oh, yeah, we got the Team Magma versus Team Aqua rule book, some damage counters. A uh, card list of with the freaking Agron on it or whatever. And then the poster of some sort. I don't know if I should open this up right now or not. Yeah, it's probably too big to show on camera, but... Probably got the idea. Holy crap. Okay. Let's see what's in here. I have no idea, really. I have some idea because the picture's online, but I don't have, like, a full idea. Okay. So let me just go through these real quick. Oh! Cool, we got a wall rain hollow. So I'll put everything good aside and recap at the end. And that's probably the, the deck hollow or whatever that comes in the deck. Let's see, is it on the back? Well, it shows a Kyogre, now I'm confused. I don't know what's going on. Oh my god. Uh, oh, okay, but trainers and energies. Um, so we got a bunch of Carvanaz here. My Dienas. Poochianas. These are cool. I like them. Oh, look at that lantern. What the crap? Hopefully there's two. Yes, because me and my girlfriend are splitting this. Oh, man. I love it. Chin Chow. Sfeel. There's the Kyogre, and that's a rare. Set that aside. Actually, both of those. I'll set anything that's like rare hollow or like cool reverse hollows aside, too. So there's a Celio. That's cool. Also, that almost looks like it'd be a rare. Oh, man. These are awesome. So there's a bunch of Pokemon right there. Set those aside. I kind of need to get these freaking McDonald's toys out of the way. Stop it, Rollet. Don't even. No, that thing has a mind of its own. I tell you, I was sleeping the other night, and it started doing that and woke me up. No, I'm just kidding. Actually, um, I'm opening this actually right after I did that video. Look, we have Team the Team Magma box also. Yeah, there's one of these, the poster thing. That's such a cool picture of Houndoom. Oh my gosh, actually, it looks like, the background looks like something you'd see out of, like, Doom or Half-Life, even. That's so funny. <laughs> they should make a game where you just fight Houndooms. Alright, so luckily you guard those with your life, pal. I feel like I was, like, quoting Goofy movies. Goofy movie. Guard this with your life, dude. The cheese whiz. Um, Goofy movies. <laughs> uh, so we got... Um, Team Magma's Rhyhorn, that's freaking sick. Some other trainers, and then there's the other Rhyhorn. I was wondering if I'd see another one. These are common, so I guess that makes sense. I think they're commons, yeah, they are. Ball toy. Every time I see Ball toy, I think of this, like, old Harry Potter, like, parody thing I made with my friend. I call him Draco Faltoy. Clay doll. Houndoom, that is really cool. Oh, man. Yeah, like I said earlier, me and my girlfriend are splitting these, so it's cool when it comes with, like, two of certain things. We got Hound Hours. That's awesome also. These are really cool. Laeron, Aeron. I just want to call him Aaron. And then we got two rare Groudons. Was there no hollow in that? I don't know what happened to the hollow. Whatever. We got two uh, rare Groudons. All right, let's see what else we got in this box. Okay, what is all this stuff? Oh, there it is. Agron Hollow, here we go. Nice, that is really cool looking actually. I love the uh, Starfoil 
hollows, and I wish they'd go back to that, and then we just got a bunch of energies and a couple more aerons and lairons and whatnot. I see a coin at the bottom of this box. What is it? What is it? It is... It looks like a Team Magma coin. Put that aside. I like the sound that made. That was, like, satisfying to me for some reason. And then we got this. I was actually really lucky. Someone gave me um, just the card box for uh, free with, like, a purchase. Or actually, I think I bought it for, like, three bucks. It was really cheap at this, like, card shop. And my, So I got one, but my girlfriend didn't, so I'm going to be giving this to her. Um, if I can figure out how to open it for the life of me. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Awesome. Oh, man, that Ken Sugimori artwork. The best thing I've ever seen in my life. And then, yeah, there's, like, writing in here I noticed on the picture on eBay. So there's going to be some cool stuff in here. Unless they just completely lied about what was coming in the, the lot, so. All right, so let's go for the for the first stack first. Looks like a bunch of energies. Like I said, just a bunch of cool stuff. Right? It's all really cool. That's it. That's all that's in there. No, I'm just kidding. There's going to be some other stuff. <laughs> I think that was, yeah, just all energies... That wasn't very entertaining. Let's try another scoop of cards. All right, we got Super Potion Bill Switch. Oh, that's cool from the uh, E-Series sets. Hopefully this glare isn't too distracting. I feel like the glare is really bad, so I apologize. Oh, that's cool. Professor Elm's training method. Misty's Tears. Oh, that's sick. I think that's the one that they had to like ban in Jap or Japanese or whatever, change the artwork for. I mean... Okay, here we go. Here's some Pokemon. Here's some Mons. We got Diglett, Diglett, Brock's Diglett, Brock's Diglett, and then more trainers. That's really cool. Look at that. Look at that artwork. That's crazy. Man, I love Pokemon cards. I'm gonna be like 90 and still collecting these. Let's let's make sure none of these are the errors, because these are from a base set. It looks like. What I mean by error is I think some of the old Diglett cards had uh, one of their energies flipped. I think this is the card. Sorry about the lack of focus here. I think this is the card that had it. I think one of these was like tilted like 90 degrees or something. But anyways, put those aside. The monster cards. So, Galia, you're not even looking. You have to protect them. Sorry, there's someone with like a chainsaw outside. I'm just going to ignore it. Pretend like I'm not about to die. I don't think that's really a chainsaw, <laughs> but whatever. Okay, so Poliwag. I'm going to put the E-Series uh, Pokemon cards, like, when I, when I, what am I saying? I'm going to put the E-Series Monster cards aside in the rares, because I think those are really cool. It's just something I don't have much of, so they, like, I feel like they're rares when I get them. I don't know. Um, Blaine's Ponyta. That's pretty cool. I like that artwork quite a bit. Professor Oak's Research. That's rad. Let's see. I don't know what I'm doing with everything. Oh, oh, look at these. Oh, look at that Vulpix. What the heck? Look at that. I'm all like, oh, look at this. And I'm just like swiping past it all quick. Nidoran. These look like really, I don't know. Maybe it's just the lighting, but they look really light. So sorry again about the uh, sound in the background here. That Pikachu, like, am I crazy or do these look like they're like really light? Like the like they look like they were like printed lightly or something. It's just weird to me. So we got Charmander seeking. Oh my good gosh. I think I have this already, but I love Butterfree. Good the sound stopped. I love it. Look at that. That is so cool. Oh man. Okay, no, I need to I changed my mind. I'm gonna fix this real quick. Then oh my gosh. My girlfriend is gonna freak out. I love Chikorita too, but I just know she's going to freak out about this. Corsola. Oh, what? Oh my gosh, they're amazing. Okay. This lot was worth every penny. I paid $50 for the whole thing, by the way. So, I thought that was a pretty good deal. For some weird stuff. What am I doing? Okay, yeah, let's go there. Oh, we're going to have some fun going through these again later. Alright, I paused a while waiting for them to stop out there. Sorry again. Um, they're probably going to keep going in a second here, but anyways, I'll just keep going through them while I can. So we got a Diglett's. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> I, I love it. This Diglett is freaking amazing. I love that artwork. Brock's Diglett, Dodrio, Dodrio, Drowsy, Drowsy, Eevee, 
Oh, Lieutenant Surge's EV. My girlfriend's going to freak out. She probably already has one, but still, more EVs is never a bad thing to her. What in the heck? That's got to be like the best Ekans card ever. That's freaking sick. It looks like a mural or something. That's awesome. Holy crap. Look at that Electabuzz. I think I have one. I don't, I don't know. It looks familiar. Maybe I just saw it online. I'm like, I want that. I know it's not a rare, but I'm putting that with the rare because I think it deserves it. Sometimes you just see a card and you're like, that should be a rare. Oh, <laughs> I love this coughing card. I think I have it, but not in reverse hollow. And to have it in reverse hollow just makes me happy. Just look at that. I have this ongoing gag where I'll go through cards with people and we'll decide which one looks like it's saying, why are you trespassing on my property? The most. I know that sounds really weird, but I think it's really funny. And this one looks like it'd be saying that. Um, to understand the weirdness of me more, go look at my other channel, the Danimators channel, and type in the multiple-legged menace. And then you'll see what I'm talking about. I made this uh, really dumb movie when I was uh, younger. Not, like, really young, but, you know, younger. Like a stop motion or whatever, and that's the character was, like, saying that. The whole why you're trespassing on my property thing. Sorry, I got sidetracked and I wasn't talking straight. Um, but the the way I originally even came up with that is I was playing Counter-Strike and some guy was blocking another guy from going through a door and then all of a sudden the little speech bubble appears over his head and then you just hear, Why are you trespassing on my property? And I, like, lost it. I thought it was so great. It's so funny. Okay, so... <laughs> Sorry, I need to get better at, like, centering the cards when I do these. Oh, there's a hair. Who knows where that came from? Ew. Misty Star, you. Taurus. Venonat. Something about these still looks, like, weird to me. Maybe it's just I'm used to the quality of the newer ones. Oh, look at that. Lieutenant Surge's Voltorb. That's freaking sick. Oh, Blaine's Vulpix. I love these cards. Oh man, Wizards of the Coast, guys. There's nothing like it. Koga's Weedle. Look at that. They just don't make the artwork like that anymore. Oh, E-Series Squirtle. That is so cool. Oh, oh man. I'm having like a Pokegasm. This is amazing. Oh, these are so cool. I need to sort out the uh, E-Series cards later because that's like one of the things uh, my girlfriend and I are really after right now. All right, guys, we're getting... um. Oh, I saw a really cool Magic Carp card down there. Getting a little closer to the end here. I'm just going to go through the trainers real quick because they don't interest me as much. Um, Koi Lava. I had a hard time figuring out where its head was for a second there, but it's like, that is so weird. These Ear Series cards have some of the weirdest artwork. So there's Rattatas. So I'm just going through some of them here. Rhyhorn. Sand Slash. Oh, there's another cool Ponyta. Oh, look at that. Sabrina's Porygon. What the heck? The Primate. Misty Psyduck. Oh, look at the Krabby. That's so cool. Machoke. Bunch of Machops. Giovanni's Machoke. I love those Gem Series cards. Man, this was definitely worth it. Okay, I'm getting a little worried because, like, the best stuff that was supposed to be in here I haven't seen yet, so... Hopefully they didn't leave it out by accident. That would suck. I'm going to have to get a partial refund if that's the case. Okay, Magikarp. Magikarp. That's cool that there's two of those because I really wanted those that card, and I know my girlfriend would like it. Magnemite, 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 Mankey, Mankey, Mankey. I'm kind of um, going through the uh, cards you see more often a little quicker. Blaine's Mankey. Look at that artwork. What in the heck? That is so cool. Man, I love this stuff. I love this art. Okay, Marie, Giovanni's Meowth, Meowth, Giovanni's Nidoran, some Oddishes, that's really cool there, because Paris is rad, Paris, Paris, Persian. Oh, one of my favorite uh, gem series artworks is this Koga's Pidgey, it's so amazing, look at that. Koga's Zubat, Sabrina's Ghastly, Brock's Geodude. Pikachu, Lieutenant Surge's Pikachu, that's a, that's one of those cards that I've always loved the uh, artwork on, the background with the sunset, and then you got the classic uh, base set Pikachu there, 
All right, guys, we don't have too many more left. Probably like two more stacks here. Oh, okay. I'm seeing some good stuff. Just wait for it. Some more Pikachus. I need to check for errors on these. Oh, the um, E-Series Pikachu. That's awesome. That's one of the ones I was looking forward to. I think there's a reverse haul of that in here. At least there should be. Koga's Coughing. These are all in really good condition, too. Like, now that I think about it. So, stoked on that. What was that? I thought that was Shadowless at first. Oh, one of my favorite Gym Series cards ever. Another one of them. Sabrina's Haunter is such a beautiful looking card. Look at that artwork. Let's just take a moment. Look at that. Whoa. That's off the chain. And we got, um, Hop It. Oh my freaking gosh. I'm a huge fan of Abra. Look at that. Holy crap. I know it's just a common, but that is like my favorite thing in here so far. Holy crap. I didn't even know that was in this lot. Like I said, there's always going to be extra surprises. Oh, here's one of the ones I was looking forward to. Oh, so cool. Look at that. Reverse Clefable. I don't know what set that is. I always get the E-Series sets confused. Oh, here we go, guys. Holographic E-Series Vile Bloom. Holographic Nitto King from base set. Holographic Machamp from base set. Here we go. <laughs> it's funny that I just happened to um, look at the like the better stuff last. I did not even do that on purpose. Put these aside here. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Another Vile Bloom. This one's a uh, standard, like non hollow. Beedrill. One of the best things I've ever seen. Sabrina's Gengar. If that was a hollow, I'd be like crapping myself right now. <laughs> Blaine's Nine Tails. Sorry for the graphic uh, comedy. I see like something that looks like a crimped card in here. That's weird. Mewtwo Hollow from base set. That's always awesome. Brock's Protection. Is that a rare? It is. That's cool. I'm still gonna put that over here for now though. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. What the heck? Oh, these are so cool. Oh, holographic Flareon. What? Oh, it's from Legendary Collection. And look at the, look at the freaking like. Qual or the um, condition on that. That's awesome. Holy crap, my girlfriend's gonna freak. Got a rare Mr. Mime. A reverse hollow dual ball. Whoa, what? A crimped right on? That's crazy. What the heck? I'm not even sleeving these. I'll sleeve them all afterwards, but we'll do a recap. I'm putting that with the rares, I think, I guess. I mean, it's not a rare, but what the heck? A fable. And then, oh shoot, I kind of like failed at this. Okay, yeah, those are all rares or hollows or whatever, so I'll put those aside. All right, last little stack here. There's some legendary collection cards. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, Hollow Kangaskhan. These are in good condition, too. Some minor scratching, but they're good. I mean, Gyarados Hollow. Lieutenant Surge's Jolteon. That's so bad. Oh my gosh, I'm loving it. We got a, a legendary collection Magikarp. Computer Search. Holographic Hitmonlee, Bill's Maintenance, oh, 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 what in the heck, freaking Holographic Gengar, I don't know what set that is, but that's one of the ones I was looking forward to the most, oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Oh, one of the sickest things in this, um, in this lot, the regular rare Dragonite. Oh, and then there's the Mew. I actually have a PSA graded uh, 9 of this hanging on my wall. It's like the only PSA card I like, own. Oh, look at that Pichu. That's awesome, too. Oh, these are so cool. And then a uh, <laughs> the last card is a Legendary Collection Scoop Up. What I'm going to do is uh, I'll do a recap, but I'm going to actually do a muted recap where I just play music over like muted uh, a muted clip. So I'm not even going to name these. So here I go.
All right, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. I hope you enjoyed this weird little, like, lot opening thing I did, or big lot, I guess. I don't know. Uh, but if you liked it, let me know in the comments below, and I'll uh, maybe do more of these in the future, because I do buy these occasionally. So, thank you guys, and catch you next time, and thanks for your support, and goodbye forever.